from America's heartland, this is the Oklahoma City Thunderbolt Classic. Brought to you by Ford and your local Ford dealer. And by Walker Muffler. Featuring the Advantage Muffler, it puts rust at a disadvantage. We're in the great southwestern part of the United States, Oklahoma. We're in late summertime, college football is on the minds of everybody. Norman, Oklahoma, home of the highly ranked Sooners, and of course the famous Sooner Schooner, which will be in action again this year. But today we are in Oklahoma City, some 20 miles north of Norman, on Lake Overholzer for the Greater Oklahoma Thunderboat Classic. Hello everybody, I'm Don Foyer. Welcome to Oklahoma. This is the first time in Unlimited Hydroplane history we have come to this state to compete, and I must say the hospitality has been absolutely fabulous. Now the matter at hand, the national points race. After today, there is only one race remaining, that being in San Diego. And the man with a very slim lead is the Miller American driver, Chip Hanauer. Jim Hendrick is with him right now. Jim? The slim lead you're talking about, Don, is 381 points. And with a good day today, it's conceivable, Chip, you could wrap up the national title. Uh, it's conceivable, but very doubtful. 381 points is really not a lot of points. If we were to break in that first heat and Executone were to win, they'd be in the lead. So I think it's going to come down to the last race myself. First time racing in Oklahoma City. What do you think of the course? Well, in a word, I have to say windy to this point. Uh, it's been very difficult getting two days of qualifying in, as you know, due to the wind. This morning, uh, we have some room for optimism. It's less than it's been any of the other two mornings, but unfortunately, it seems to be building. So only time will tell. Highest qualifier of this week is Steve Reynolds in the 7-Eleven. Let's go to Don Poyer for that story. Qualifying at 137 miles per hour with Steve Reynolds and the other turbine boat competing. Uh, Chip's concerned about the wind. What about you? It's a valid concern. Everybody here, all the drivers, is, have expressed concern about the wind conditions. It's a new course, Don. You know, we're not quite familiar with this. So you throw in, you know, the added ingredient of a, of a wind, and uh, it could be a difficult race today. That and the fact that we've got a very, very close national points race, top three or four boats, going to make it an interesting day. Another shot at the turbine, the Miller over there. Your rival now. <laughs> yeah, that's true, my rival. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go now to Jim Henrik with a rundown of Heat 1A. And, Don, we have one turbine and three reciprocals, four boats in all, and Heat 1A, and this is the way the lineup goes. Todd Yarling in Jackie Cooper's Cellular One, the U-22. He checked in at 111.899. Andy Coker at 113.651 in American Speedy Printing. Scott Pierce in Executone Telephones at 122.951. And Chip Hanauer in the Miller American Turbine at 135.379. And that's the way they line up, Don, for Heat 1A. How about 1B? Jim, we have four boats qualified in Heat 1B as well. And here they are. First of all, qualifying at 106 miles per hour, Mitch Evans and the Coors Silver Bullet. Also, Jerry Hopp and the Oboy Alberto at 106.4. Jim Crossfeld and the Miss Budweiser at an impressive 133.1 miles per hour. And finally, Steve Reynolds and the turbine-powered Miss 711 at a course record 137.4 miles per hour. So the stage is set. The first time in history the Thunderboats are in Oklahoma. We'll have racing for you coming up right after this. 